was also thinking recently, I was just looking at the you know, the latest issue of the New Yorker, which has an article about Questlove of the Roots. And he's talking about how he grew up in uh, West Philadelphia, which when he first lived there, when his family first moved there, was a sort of a middle class neighborhood, integrated neighborhood, and then was devastated in the decades following that. And he, he mentions, this is someone who sort of made it into the music world, you know, is not trapped in those conditions, but he says to the New Yorker person doing the article, look, I can think of 33 people that I grew up with. Out of those 33 people, myself and two others are the only people I know of who are not dead or in jail. And this is not some, you know, strange anomaly, some peculiarity that's, you know, that doesn't exist anywhere else. This is typical of the people growing up in the inner cities of this country right here, right around us, you know, maybe two miles from where some of your listeners might live or five miles, you know. So what does that tell you about this country and what has voting over the decades on the part of people who might be appalled by this and think it's terrible, voting for Democrat after Democrat after Democrat, what has it done to change something like that? What has it done about the, the condition of women? What has it done about the fact that women's right to abortion and even to birth control is under increasing attack and the Democrats are constantly backpedaling and conciliating over this, even while they might weekly at election time say a few words about how they uphold the right to it? You know, what has this done about war after war after war that this country has waged? What has voting for Democrats and voting in general done to change any of that for the better? All these conditions, like what Questlove is talking about, have gotten worse. You know, you have, we have in this country over two million people, most of them black and Latino, in prison. It's the highest rate of imprisonment in the entire world. We have the highest rate of, of women in, who are incarcerated in the entire world, and that number is rapidly growing. If this were happening in any other country, everybody would re immediately recognize that this says something very fundamental about a whole country that it incarcerates millions of people and then when they get out of jail they're put into, into a category of what amounts to second-class citizenship once again legally discriminated against in all kinds of ways including being banned from living in housing projects you know having you know having a stigma on them when they go to look for a job having in many cases virtual impossibility of getting any kind of a decent job if this were occurring in any other country the end People looked at that and the answer on the part of the people in that country were, yes, but we can vote. Everybody would be outraged and say, what has your voting done to change any of that? And if your voting has done nothing to change any of all these things, then why do you keep talking about how important it is to be able to vote for the people, one group or the other, of the people who rule the society who are carrying out and enforcing all that?